Cairns on. And he's into double figures now on double faults. flags that fly are the flags of the four major tournaments. Well, what was going on there? I think his eyes... Uh, weren't totally focused. This could be such an important miss. I mean, Chang for once had given it away. He wasn't moving. Exactly. Two real presents, and here's great back point. And the second set looks as if it could be repeating itself. Done a bit of that in the last few seconds. Difficult serve to return that. It's uh, pretty powerful, and he's a. Uh, it's almost a, a, a fast rolled serve. A perfect lob. Again, I think uh, Sean Freeman will have to say something to the crowd. Fabrice Santoro. Watching on because they were very noisy. Chang not complaining. But what a wonderful shot. So this one for 5 2. from Chang. Egality. Instantly on the Suzanne Long Long court, Martina Hingis has won. 6 1 in the third set. But I bet it's a little bit of a lie down now and uh, work out what on earth was happening for a set and a half. She won nine of the last ten games. presence do you have to have? Farcical. Well, another great point because this was a terrific lob and a really athletic get and that's so difficult to do what Chang did there, that smash, awful, awful smash. And I really have seen a couple of great points. Point Chang. Well, he gets in useful positions and then just throws them away. It was a great point, but some of Colmar's play when he's been ahead in this game has been uh, now ridiculous. So 
What's he going to do here? Another point for 5 2. from the Suzanne Long Long Court to fill up the centre court here. And there could be some drama yet, 5-2. So Michael Chang is serving at 2-5 to stay in this third set. And the uh, centre court here is rapidly filling up. Very soon will be full, brimful. Mr. Muster, a little bit calmer than he was yesterday. But then uh, Jeff Durango can uh, play tricks on the mind. Premier series. Muster, of course, who beat Chang. And Chang got to the final here a couple of years ago. And beat him comprehensively. Serena Williams, sister Venus, is next up on centre. Meanwhile, Chang really bulleting down that serve. Mixture of 180s and 190 we got once. Much better. Golmar then serving for the set. It's Francois Deer, I think it is, behind Thomas Muster. It certainly is. 30 years since she won this tournament. It's a bit of a celebratory year for Francoise Deux. The last uh, French female winner of the tournament. And how the game has changed since she won it. Strapping from Chang, but really, Golmar just can't put the volley or the overhead away. But, uh, full credit to the American. Yes, it's what I was saying earlier about uh, the ability for uh, defensive play here, because there's such a big background behind the baseline, you can really run down a lot of balls that you can't do on a smaller court. So in many ways, it actually suits a, a defensive player. striking of the backhands there by Chang, those were, to me, much more impressive because uh, he straightened them out of it. He wasn't trying to roll the ball. When he rolls them, he drops them too short. And Gormar, having played a, a reasonably, by his standards, reasonably patient rally, I don't think he's going to hang around much in this one. Bray 
save, as we were saying, he's cutting out the angle. Gambler, just as uh, that fellow is Ion Tyriak. Fifth ace. Turn just too good for him. Yes, and now the element of surprise, the serve volley has gone. Premier <laughs> So two aces from the right court, down the middle, and then here. Set point for Jerome Golmar. He just came up a little too soon, perhaps, but uh, you really can't blame him. The only problem is Chang's not going to fold. It may be a, a pressure full point, and of course he plays those points so well. You've really got to come up with quality. away from the line or be it. Avantage Chang. So Chang with break back point. on the second serve, 174 kilometers an hour. He really ripped it, considering all the doubles he's uh, hit. Best here, and that kind of pressure is bringing mistakes. Second set point. won it, driving him wide, but as you say, he never quite won it until that ball has bounced the second time with Chang. He couldn't really have played it much better, Gormar. Chang just came up with a perfect shot. As I pointed out, Chang normally doesn't hit with his depth, and uh, I, for one, figured that Gormar at least would have a shot at the volley. No way. 